I was thinking about this the other day. What's that? I think we're coming up on 15 years now of oh. doing renovations together and working together and all that fun stuff. It's a long time. It is. You're getting old. I am getting old. I remember when we started, I knew nothing about construction. I could be like a transformer. Hug. <laughs> Hug. <laughs> After we had initially met and I went to your house and saw a dump truck in your driveway and then I found out it was actually your dump truck. Didn't know the girls you date had And I was sex? like, this is interesting. I was like, hey, let's see what's going on with this. Who doesn't want a dump truck? But then you got in the fire department and you were like, I've got five days off, I'm gonna golf. And I was like, Well, hold on, the fire department wasn't an easy job to get I didn't either. think it was an easy job to get. I was just saying, you bought golf clubs and I was like, I don't think so. I mean, I still don't know how to golf. I'm a pro at loading up sheets of blue board by myself. Oh, that's a useful skill. One day we were talking to my friend and then she says, you two need to do video. And we, I think we both immediately froze. I was like, I just hopped in here looking for some attention. I wasn't expecting to do a video. <laughs> we were like, well, what is the video going to be? And she's like, well, just you guys talking like you are right now. And I was like, who's going to watch it? That's so dumb. Like, no. <laughs> <laughs> she basically told me that she was not going to speak to me until we put a video out. So then we hired Evan. We kind of said, look, we can sit down and try to map it out, or we can just go film and see what happens and then figure it out that way. So that's what we did. The first day we filmed, we only had one microphone that we shared. All right, is it recording? We are currently rolling. We're rolling. We're gonna take that window, make it smaller. This space here is where the fridge is gonna go. I don't think either one of us thought that the construction videos were gonna Be turn watched into the- watched by anyone. <laughs> <laughs> right, I don't think either one of us saw A, anybody watching them, and B, them kind of turn into the snowball that they right. did. It was they were like, whoa. <laughs> Some of those first videos were terrible. I look back at the old videos and you've always been really good at them. I, I'm not. It's easy for me to act like a knucklehead when I'm a knucklehead, you know? I, mean, I like to have fun. <laughs> we be looking for a house to build. I want you to see what we're observing right here. Watch the majestic creature as she tells the males what to do and how to do it. You don't want to get too close because then you're going to get sucked into the vortex and you're going to have to do something too. Somebody did say to me, does Paul act like that for the videos? And I'm like, no, <laughs> Paul just acts like that all the time. So we started doing those. We started with little one minute videos of really nothing. We were just kind of testing it out. And they used to make these terracotta cats and put them on houses and rooftops. Mittens here actually grew up with Garfield. And then we started getting comments from people like we want to see a whole project. We don't want to just see a piece of it. We want to see how it turned out. So then we started doing the whole house tours where we would do the whole project. That's definitely, definitely an yes. original 1966 window. This room was the original living room and this was the end of the original house. We took down the original fireplace, opened up the whole house, relocated the kitchen. Now they can get back to the new norm. That's it. So the videos have changed a lot for us because it puts our work out there, people see it. And then recently people have been asking, what about having more clients in the videos? It's actually way more pressure. It is. It's way a lot of pressure because then it has to, not only does it have to look good, but you have to have a wow when you do that. Oh my god. Wow. Oh my god. Oh my god, the door! I didn't want a curtain and it's not. It's totally not what I expected. When we told Patty and Gary that we were involving more clients, they just kind of jumped on it. They were great. We bought this house back in 2007, thinking we'd be here about five years. The house just is getting smaller. I'm not really sure how that happens, but <laughs> you know, we're out throwing it. The existing entryway? This is just a little rotting structure <laughs> attached to the side of the house. It wasn't really usable. Right, it was a second entry to the it house. It was like a little porch that somebody put a roof and walls on. They had done their kitchen six years ago. At the time she was doing it because she thought that they would sell the home pretty soon. Oh, but yeah. now that she was gonna have to keep the kitchen, she was like, you know what, it's not really my favorite kitchen. I don't know why I did that. Right when you walk in the door, you're on top of the front stairs. There's no place to put shoes, coats. There's no place to kind of put anything right when you walk in. And then just in general, the living area was just the small living room, so they just needed more space. I think right off the bat, an addition was 
on the table. That's where budget comes in, right? right? Like they had done the kitchen and they were like, can't justify spending a ton of money in the kitchen. We right. need space, we need other things that are mm -hmm. more important because the kitchen was just done. When we were talking about adding a room to give them more space off of the back, you know, do you want a full foundation or do you want footings? And they're like, what do you mean? So you're like, look, we can do it on footings. We can save you some money instead of doing a full foundation. Or you can take that money and put it into maybe doing a few tweaks in the kitchen that'll make you happy with the kitchen. Patty was all in at that point. Did you decide what are you gonna do here? I kind of like that one that's really it's like a bigger tile but then this one's smaller we could do one in the middle what if you did it like this at like a 75 degree nope uh, i'm crying about this saving the money from putting a full basement in the back room definitely gave us some space to put some money into the kitchen what are you doing i'm putting a new tile pattern together that is not the tile pattern so do you remember these tiles uh, fireplace? We were looking at it for the fireplace, but I decided that it's gonna look better in the kitchen. So usually we would put it side to side, but we have a really long counter and a short ceiling. So I wanna turn it the other way so that when you come in, your eye is drawn up. Like when I walked in the room and you just like looked me up and down and said, look at that pencil shaped guy over there. <laughs> Typically, you would start where the stove area is because that's a focal point. But we're not doing that because we have a wall on this side and a wall on this side. So what we wanna do is start over here at the corner the tiles right here will continue around this corner so it'll look like that pattern doesn't just die into the wall here and here. It'll be a continuous flow as it comes around and then the small cut pieces will end up against here so it'll detract from your eye because as you look at this as a whole you'll see the full tile across the whole thing. And then Susan won't yell at us because the layout's not right. I mean I'm not yelling at you, I'm just making sure that you don't mess it up. That pantry mudroom combo was one of my favorite ones that we did. It is small, but it packs a punch. Yeah. Oh my God. So this is your new wow. mudroom and pantry. Holy cow. This is like a real room. Look at all the storage, Gary. This is I awesome. You can still fill this so oh, quickly. Yeah. <laughs> we even built the doors in so you have a little bit more space so they're not sitting on the face of the cabinet. Oh my gosh, they can come in. They can hang up their jackets and backpacks. They won't be all over the house. Right now at your front door, there's nowhere to put anything. Correct. So now you have this right. space. Right. This yep. floor is heated. So in the winter, when you come in with like snow on your shoes oh and gosh, wet right? shoes. All the hockey stuff. Yeah. Awesome. This will dry it all up. That's wow. awesome. This is beautiful. That's amazing. They needed more space, they needed some storage. And then the other thing was the kitchen. I mean, the kitchen was newer, but she just didn't like it. And what was the best way to take the budget that they gave us and try to address all those issues? Wow. We kept the cabinets because yeah. they weren't that old, but yeah. we replaced everything else. New countertop on the island, yeah. new light fixtures, new backsplash, new hardware. So everything except the cabinets. All right, I'm obsessed with this counter, first of all. Why didn't we do this Way the better first than what time? We had. This is and awesome. just a little change here. It looks like different cabinets. We darken the hardware because you have a glaze on the cabinet, okay. so it just picks up the coloring so yeah. that it feels like it, you know, blends better. Okay. And then everything else was light in the counter, the backsplash, the paint. It was really dark yes. in there. And you only have one window, so we just wanted to brighten it up. So all the colors that we brought in were a lot lighter. So yeah. this was the old space, and now we're gonna go see the new space. Oh my goodness. Oh my Gosh. The addition was one of the biggest pieces in this project. You have the new fireplace, you've got vaulted ceilings, beams. I love it. So like I envisioned for so long what I wanted and this blows it away. This is more than extra space. This is like a whole other wing of the house. And the other thing that we put in this room is the bathroom. So as you go around the corner, there's another bathroom tucked around there, which is one of the other things that they really needed as they were growing and gonna stay in this home for a long time. Since then, we've done a bunch more. We have a lot of projects that we've been filming and documenting and blogging about that we have not put out there yet that are going to be coming later on this year because we're still working on them. You name that color Kinkle. Because it blends in with the tape right here. As part of the filming process, we've been blocking them out of the space and not letting them see it. It's been really cool because for every homeowner, it's almost like when you see a kid at Christmas, they're super excited. Oh, wow. Oh my God. Where are we? <laughs> wow. That's been really cool because as an adult, you don't get a lot of surprises. <laughs> oh Does that mean you like it? This is just gonna take it to another level. This is a huge project that we're working on and I think we're super excited to share it with everybody because it's gonna be more of the story, more of what we're doing and how we've been helping people transform how they live. And I think we're both super excited to put this out there and see what people think. Beyond excited to share it. Yeah. I'm really gonna find out if people like me or find me annoying. It's probably both. There's no bad weather, just bad clothing. What are you doing up there? Practicing being a beam.
An easier way would probably be to just take it off the hinges, huh? Probably. It's going to be super fun. There's going to be a lot more details, a lot more in depth for each project. It's going to be coming out later this year, and we can't wait to share it with everybody. In the meantime, thank you for at least watching this video. <laughs> I'm probably sorry you did. <laughs> <laughs>